All right, guys, today we're taking apart a Biosound 9000 that has a uh, bad laser module. Uh, essentially, um, if you put a CD, uh, it goes over it, it tries to grab it, and it's gonna try to attempt to spin it. You're gonna hear some clicks, and then it goes into pause mode. So first thing first, we need to power it. We open the lid. There are two screws. One is on the right, one is on the left. Uh, you're not going to remove them completely. You have to do, I think, three turns. Um, I'm doing it here. And now the one on the left. And then what you do is go, you're going to pull the glass off. Okay, the right one is still a little bit tight. There you go. Now remove it, put it somewhere safe. Now, uh, this is the control part. Uh, in order to remove this aluminum plate, you need to push toward the left, and with your left hand, you lift it up. Okay, now we have to put the unit in test mode. We need to click Shift 90258. Uh, the Shift key is actually um, under list, is a custom key. Now let's enter 72. Uh, 72 needs to be entered under CD. If you see I'm on radio, which is wrong, you need to go into CD and then enter 72. That will unlock this ledge so that you can um, put it in the middle. Now in the middle, there is a plastic piece that you need to remove and this is very tricky. Uh, you need to push it down while you pull it away. And it took me a few tries. It's not, it's not easy, so here you go. Now we can move this ledge in the middle. Okay, turn off the unit, pull the control panel. That's magnetic, and there is a, gonna be a series of torques. I think there are nine. Uh, what's interesting is that once you open it, you realize that even though this unit is only 10 years old, the original design came out in 1996, and definitely the engineering uh, reflects that. Um, it's definitely a little bit more complicated than, let's say, uh, Japanese engineering. Um, but uh, it's absolutely amazing unit. All right, let's pull that cover up. Uh, watch out, there is a series of harnesses that are delicate. And then now let's align the logo vertically like you see it here, so that it gets unlocked. Pull it off. And I don't really need to remove this. Uh, okay, let's remove the uh, gray cover. And then this other part, I don't really need to remove it. I did it anyway so that I can clean it. It was, it was kind of dirty. Um, so I can pull it off. And now there are three torques that we need to remove. One, two, and three. Let's take this off. And then there will be two Phillips screws over those two uh, metal parts, right and left. Okay, this is still the Torx. And here is the Phillips, one and two. There you go. Now, uh, it's, you need to, uh, in order to move, you need to put your index finger there on that part, and then you have to push it up, done. As you do that, uh, the harness will come loose and will come unplugged. All right, we have two torques, one, two, for the right panel, and then we're gonna have two more for the left one. So they, these are cover plates. So push it to the left, comes off. And then this other one, you would push it to the right. There you go. And now we can see the entire CD assembly. We will not change that. We will only change the laser module that is inside. More torques, one and two. And three and four. There you go. Now you can see the laser 
Okay, so in order to release the laser part, um, there is a white pin that is holding the guide um, in place. Make sure that you pay attention the way it's installed. It's just put in with pressure. So maybe you want to take a photo before you remove it. Um, you will release the sled. Now you can pull it off. Some of the wheels will come off too. So remember the way they're installed. And now we can swap it. Let's swap the laser module. And let's put everything back. So this doesn't have screws, it just goes in with a click. It's important that you see the harness. The harness, uh, none of these harnesses have uh, connectors. So they're just loose and the connector is on the boards. So you just push them in and they have uh, locks on either side. So right and left locks. Now let's put it back. There you go. Remember to put the white pin. Click. Now, the harness needs to go under that metal part. And then you push it into the connector you lock each side okay push it down and now we reassemble everything put all the torques back and let's close it back Okay, let's power it back on, get a couple CDs, um, put them in, I'm going to put number three and number four, and let's tell them that we want to play a CD. Nice. Sorry I had to cut that, I don't want YouTube to pull down my video. And... Let's try this other CD. Sorry again. This is an amazing song, so you might want to check it out. Um, just turn that off, and it goes in standby mode. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. And if you guys have questions, just type them in the comment section.